times, but it don't hold time. There wasn't because I had, uh, remember I had used the, uh, the pump on it and pulled it all the way from the tank all the way up through, so. Go ahead and don't turn it over over. Just let it sit there. Well, here, I'll let you do it then. You can just reach over. You know what you want. Okay. <laughs> 
Hey, no. How the fuck are you? <laughs> right, hang on a second. Let me stop this. All right. It's been about um, it's been about 45 minutes since he left. Let me crank it over and see if it, if it starts. Hesitation. We'll try it again in uh, a couple of hours. All right. The time is my Nemesis 2:20. You see, I last started it at um, what 12, 12:30. So it's been a couple of hours. check valve here found out it wasn't coming from the engine it's coming from the back because it still takes like three minutes or two minutes to crank over so I'm gonna pull that check valve out and put it in the back next to the tank because we're believing that there might be a hole or something in the uh, the siphon hose coming going into the uh, tank that could be causing an air leak so we're gonna put a check valve back there and if that doesn't work then we're gonna do a, um, uh, a universal pump to prime the system every time I want to crank it over which is just fine because I've already gone through a thousand dollars of mechanic bills and six mechanics and we haven't been able to find out a single thing wrong with it and it's been two years now two years I've been trying to fix this ever since I replaced the uh, uh, ever since I replaced the um, the entire fuel system all the uh, lines were all shot oh, let's see how am I gonna do this this is gonna suck well, unless I pull that one off. If I pull that one off and then cut that, what it is is that the way I have it set up is that that line down here, let's see if I can get that so you can see it better. No. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, can you get around that solenoid, please? No, you can't. Well, you little whore. Okay, that's better. Well, kind of. Okay, there we go. Let me get that out of the way. So, I have it. You can see that one um, hose clamp there. Then I have a hose clamp, check valve, hose clamp going in. As you can see, the line's coming up and over. It's going into a loop. So, what I'm going to have to do is take that. I've already replaced the lift pump, the mechanical fuel pump when they put that in they left the valve pointing upward and it should be facing down towards the back so I'm gonna pull this line off well you know, I'll just show you so let's see here do I have a screwdriver long enough let's find out because I know I had to do some very big jerry rigging the last time So if you don't see everything exactly, I'm, I apologize. I can't see it either, and everything's all in the way in this bus, so. Damn, I can barely see it myself. Ha ha! It fits! That's what she said! <laughs> Michael! Michael! <laughs> Michael, please. There he is. Please. Okay. I 
rather do that on one shot instead of having because pulling that off of there is gonna suck. <gasps> oh my hand! Okay, you see that? No, no, no. Okay, so I'm gonna have to have light down inside there like that, which is gonna be in my way, but that's okay. All right. I need one thing first uh, to get this done. Where'd my weed go? There it is. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. Just like that. So, there's the check valve I had put in before to test it out. And that's where I had to cut it off the, uh, the part because it's too big. This line actually needs to go underneath that. Oh, it is underneath it. It's just all... It's all dumbified. There we go. I hook that back on there. Alright, so, time to lose the prime. Well, I don't even have a prime in the system, so... I gotta move that back. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. All right, now I'm gonna heat up my hose to make it malleable enough because this is 3 8 It fits. It's snug, but down there is just a little bit bigger. And they make it for a reason. I guess they do that just to piss people off. Warning. The following stunts were performed by professionals. Do not try this at home. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. On the first go? Man, it's almost like I'm a professional here. Next thing to do... That line comes in there. Why is it like that? Hmm. I'm trying to get it, my hand out of the way so while I'm working. Yeah, you can kind of see that, I guess. Turn the camera that way. I gotta do everything left handed because everything's. I'm backwards here. Oh, of course. And of course that one's gonna be broken. I don't like ones that just come apart like that. I mean, it's nice and all, but I don't like it for the reason of, I don't like it for the reason of that I have to take it apart, fight with it. I'll replace that one. I'm not gonna even bother to try to fight with it. And of course, I'm up here with no fans so I could talk to you. Because otherwise, if I have the fan blowing on me, all you hear is fan noise, like my last video, which I was kind of upset about. And I could have sat there with my audio editing program and probably edited out the, uh, the sound, but nobody got time for that. 
See what's cool is that I also have this here. I have this one here I can take off. I have this one over here I can take off. So if I ever put a uh, diesel heater in here, I can just pull those two off and tap it in those. And may, I'd be good to gizzo. But now I got to get off. Let me verify. Yeah, that's. Man, I wish it was this line. Because that one, this one's going to suck. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to. Wait a second. Why is. Why does he have it going around like that? What the hell? That's a lot of slack. Wow. Why would he have done that? I'm not talking about the last mechanic. The last mechanic is awesome. I'm going to be doing a video on him. Um, the original guy that ran this line like did all kinds of funky things of like he didn't run it through the channels that it's supposed to he didn't hook up the uh, the last water uh, fuel water separator so it was going straight from the tank to the engine um, and it's just like it's s-shaped in there for some strange reason why he ran it that way so my last mechanic which I'll have videos of him here soon stop vibrating I'll have video with him soon. So yeah, let me cut this off of there. So I'm not sitting there fighting with it because I got plenty of extra. Which I'm probably going to end up redoing this again anyways. Make sure it's run, the, run right the first time. The original guy, when he ran it, he ran it like between the um, um, airbags. So when the airbags inflated, it like pinched off the line and the engine shut off. I was like, that guy was just stupid. I wish I had his number of information. Of course, I, of course at the time, I didn't have a camera except for my old phone or except for my phone and I wasn't really thinking about doing videos at the time because it's like okay before I do this I need to make sure I have my cutters with me which I do not oh. Somebody's cooking bacon and eggs. I smell it. In the middle of the day. Oh. All right. Um, before I continue on, let me pinch this line off, just in case so I don't lose the suction if there is one. I don't have my other ones, but this will work. See, that's what I do if I need just to pinch it off. Because I have extra, I can do that. Okay, knowing I have fuel in there is a good sign. Where's the camera at? There you are. with a screwdriver yep, see sometimes it doesn't get all the way down on it <sighs> man don't get diesel on your face it feels like something's crawling across it dang 
So yeah, this is, like I said, this is, uh, there's a lot of line here. So there is a split in the back. So what we'll end up doing is pulling it towards that where it uh, separate, not separates, but it uh, connects to another 25 foot line because it was either buy a 40 foot line, which was like over 200 bucks or buy two 25 foot lines for what was it? It was like $15 a piece or something like that. It's really cheap. And these are lines from Napa. So it's not like these are really dirt cheap lines. Oh. <clears throat> there we go. That's a lot of extra. But again, like I said, we'll be changing that out. So now I got the check valve in. I don't know if you can see that down there. I'll turn you upside down here and point you down there. So now I have the check, uh, the check valve in line. So now the fuel can't run back into the tank. We're believing that there's a, the valve in here might have a problem that it's just allowing it to open up like it's supposed to have a, a check valve inside here that fuel goes this way but it doesn't go back out that's what the return line is for so we believe that the line inside here the check valve in here might be bad so I put a check valve here so when I go to shut the engine off it doesn't backflow you know so Let's get the engine hooked up, or the batteries hooked up, and let's uh, give it a go. Now, it's going to take a little bit to crank over, mainly because uh, whenever I had it disconnected up here, most likely line had drained out some, not to mention it's been leaking anyways. So I'm hoping this will hopefully fix the issue for now. I'll post videos of how long it took to crank compared to this one. This has been the only mechanic that's been able to help me of getting the system up and running. That only took like not even five seconds to start. That's insane. All right, I'll be back. All right. Time to give her a crank. It's been about, oh, I'd say about, what, three hours, almost four, since I cranked it last. Okay, I just have, okay, there's my keys. Dinner's almost uh, done. It's on the grill right now. But it's been about four hours since I've cranked this thing. If it cranks up, I'll be shocked. I 
think we fixed it, son. And it even sounds nicer. I mean... Don't that just sound sexy? Let me finish packing up and I'll talk to y'all manana. Later.